<clears throat> All right, so yeah. Oh, this is my first camp pot, campfire in at least two years. So yeah. Oh. Don't know why I'm videotaping this, but. Burning some old shit. Should have thought about getting a stand for this. Ah. Interested or not, but I am using the TP formation uh, with these damn boxes because to, one to dry them out, and two, well, that'll help them burn and not make them so, um, not make them just like smother all. Flames. So yeah, there we go. Uh, like I said before, I have no idea why I'm doing, why I'm videotaping this, but might as well anyway since I have it out. Well, the it was like a huge, um, big ass flame like. Like, like five feet taller, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. Huh. Oh well. So, that's it for this. Well, and I've been burning. A whole, I've been running this for at least an hour and a half. Uh, might as well just get warm on it. So yeah, to any Boy Scouts that are watching this, I was, I'm a former Boy Scout, and when you're starting out, of course, use kindling, and to start the fire, put a little bit at a time, and there, of course, there are multiple ways to get the fire blazing like so, but right now, if there's like damp, uh, logs or uh, boxes and just put like put them on top not directly on top of the flames but suspend them above the flames and eventually they will burn like they weren't even damp at all and I see this is approaching 3 minutes and 30 seconds um, so yeah, and that is my cousin's dog. She does not like being in her cage, of course. So yeah, might as well just end this on a happy note and say that this has been very enlightening, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs>